The International Space Station has been a joint project between multiple countries for over two decades now. But what exactly is it? And why was it created in the first place? In this video, we'll be exploring the International Space Station, from its history to its purpose, and uncover the rumors about Russia planning to leave the project. So get ready for this fantastic journey as we explore everything there is to know about the International Space Station. The International Space Station is a cooperative program between five participating space agencies, NASA, Roscosmos, JAXA, ESA, and CSA. The ownership and use of the space station is established by intergovernmental treaties and agreements. The station is divided into two sections, the Russian Orbital Segment, ROS, and the United States Orbital Segment, USOS, which are shared by various nations. It's been continuously occupied for more than two decades, which began on November 2, 2000. This is the longest continuous human presence in low Earth orbit, having surpassed the previous record of nine years and 358 days held by Mir. It's been visited by astronauts, cosmonauts, and space tourists from 18 countries. It's the world's largest artificial satellite and orbits Earth at an altitude of about 410 kilometers or 250 miles above the surface, completing 15.54 orbits per day. The station has a total internal volume of 932 cubic meters, which is equivalent to 32,917 cubic feet, making it considerably larger than a five-bedroom house. The International Space Station is home to a variety of scientific research and has been used as a testbed for technology development and human factors studies. It's also a popular destination for space tourists. The space station was built to help us learn how to live and work in space. It's also a proving ground for new technology that may be used on future missions to Mars and other destinations. The International Space Station is the most complex international scientific and engineering project in history. The space station is made up of many modules, or rooms, that were launched into space separately and then joined together in orbit. The first module was launched in 1998, and the most recent module was launched in 2011. The space station has several science labs, where astronauts conduct experiments in biology, human physiology, physics, and other fields. The results of these experiments help us to understand how the human body adapts to living in space and enables us to develop countermeasures to problems that might occur on future, long-duration space missions. Astronauts also use the space station to test new technology for future missions. For example, they're testing a 3D printer that could be used to print parts for a Mars rover. They're also testing new methods for recycling water and generating oxygen from the carbon dioxide exhaled by astronauts. The space station has seen many groundbreaking moments, including the first ever spacewalk and the first ever woman in space. It's also been home to some landmark scientific experiments, such as the one that confirmed Einstein's theory of relativity. The International Space Station is an incredible achievement of human engineering and cooperation, and it stands as a testament to what we can accomplish when we work together. There are many partners involved in the International Space Station project. The main partners are NASA, Roscosmos, JAXA, ESA, and CSA. Each partner has contributed different parts to the space station, with NASA being the largest contributor to the ISS. They've provided the largest module, called the Unity Module. They've also provided two other modules, called the Destiny Laboratory and the Tranquility Node. In addition, they've supplied several of the space station's robotic arms. Roscosmos, the Russian space agency, has supplied two modules to the space station, Zarya and Zvezda. They've also supplied a number of scientific instruments and experiments. JAXA, the Japanese space agency, has supplied one module to the space station, Kibo. This module is used for science experiments and has a Japanese garden inside. The European Space Agency, ESA, has supplied two modules to the space station, Columbus and the Cupola. Columbus is used for science experiments and the Cupola is used as an observation deck. Finally, the Canadian Space Agency, CSA, has supplied two robotic arms to the space station. They've also supplied a number of smaller items such as exercise equipment and food warmers. There are many benefits to the International Space Station. One of the most important is that it allows for international cooperation in space. This has led to a greater understanding of space and science and has also helped to improve relations between countries. 
The International Space Station has also been a great platform for research. Many experiments have been conducted on the space station, which has led to new discoveries about our universe. The space station has also been used to test new technologies, which could be used in the future to help astronauts on long-term missions. However, the International Space Station has not been without its challenges. One of the biggest problems faced by the space station is funding. The cost of running the space station is very high, and many countries have been reluctant to provide financial support. Another challenge faced by the International Space Station is its location. The space station is located in low Earth orbit, which means that it's vulnerable to space debris. This has led to a number of collisions with space debris, which has caused damage to the space station. In particular, the space station has been hit by numerous pieces of space debris over the years, causing damage to its exterior. In some cases, these impacts have been serious enough to require repair work by astronauts. Fortunately, the space station is equipped with a number of tools and systems that help to mitigate the risk of damage from space debris. For example, the ISS has an active debris removal system that uses a robotic arm to capture and remove large pieces of debris from the station's vicinity. Additionally, the ISS is equipped with a number of external shields that help to protect it from smaller pieces of debris. Despite these measures, the risk of damage from space debris remains a significant concern for the ISS and its crew. In response to this threat, NASA and its international partners continue to work on new technologies and strategies for dealing with space debris. Despite these challenges, the International Space Station remains a valuable asset for science and international relations. It's hoped that the space station will continue to be used for research and experimentation for many years to come. Since the Soviet Union's collapse in 1991, Russia has been struggling to keep up with the rest of the world economically. This has led to various cutbacks in their space program, including delays in the construction of the International Space Station. In recent years, there have been increasing calls from within Russia to pull out of the project entirely. While no final decision has been made, it's a very real possibility that Russia will eventually leave the ISS project. There are several reasons for this. First and foremost, Russia simply doesn't have the money to keep up with its commitments to the ISS. The country is still reeling from economic sanctions and a slump in oil prices, and its space program is one of the many areas where they've had to make cuts. There is also a political element to this issue. As relations between Russia and the West have deteriorated in recent years, some Russian officials have called for an end to cooperation with Western countries on the ISS. They see the space station as a symbol of Western imperialism, and they don't want to be part of a project that's perceived as hostile to their interests. For now, Russia remains a part of the ISS project, but it's clear that there's a lot of internal debate about whether or not to stay on board. If the economic and political situation in Russia doesn't improve, it's quite possible that they will eventually pull out of the ISS. There are many questions and uncertainties surrounding Russia's future involvement in the International Space Station project. As of late, it's been speculated that Russia may be planning to launch its own space station separate from the ISS. This would obviously have major implications for the future of the ISS, as well as international cooperation in space. So what would happen if Russia did indeed leave the ISS project? One possibility is that other partners, the United States, Europe, Japan, and Canada, would simply carry on without them. The ISS could continue to operate with a reduced crew and budget. Alternatively, Russia could take their modules and equipment with them, leaving the ISS powerless and unable to function. At this point, it's impossible to say exactly what would happen if Russia left the ISS project. However, one thing is certain, it would be a major blow to international cooperation in space. The ISS has been a symbol of that cooperation for over two decades, and losing Russia's involvement would be a huge setback. As for the reality of a new Russian space station, it's still very much up in the air. There have been no concrete plans or announcements from the Russian government. It's possible that they're simply using the threat of leaving the ISS as a bargaining chip to get more funding from their partners. Or, they could be serious about launching their own station. Only time will tell. In any case, the future of the ISS is looking increasingly uncertain. Russia's involvement has been crucial to its success so far, and losing them would be a major blow. However, the ISS has shown that international cooperation in space is possible, and it will continue to be an important symbol of that cooperation regardless of what happens with Russia.